हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक विद द नेक्स्ट सेशन दैट इज आर बैलेंसिंग सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू बैलेंस अ केमिकल इक्वेशन एंड व्हाई वी हैव टू बैलेंस अ केमिकल इक्वेशन इज इट वी हैव लर्नड फ्यू रूल्स आल्सो ओके एंड इट कैन बी कंसीडर्ड एज अ इजी ट्रिक टू बैलेंस अ केमिकल इक्वेशन वी हैव सीन टू एग्जांपल्स एंड यू नो इट बिकम्स परफेक्ट व्हेन यू प्रैक्टिस विद मोर एंड मोर एग्जांपल्स सो लेट मी go for another more examples here uh, see this is example 3 you have a equation here that is uh, you know co is nothing but carbon monoxide okay co is called carbon monoxide uh, reacting with oxygen and you are getting carbon dioxide so this is a chemical very very simple chemical equation and uh, see whether it is balanced or not just check whether it is balanced or not if not you should start balancing it okay so uh, how do you check it you are going for a table right a small table so what are the elements present carbon is the element present and oxygen is another element present right so check how many carbons are there in the reactant side only one and how many carbons are there in a product side here also one okay and now how many oxygens are there in the reactant side three oxygens are there and in our product side we have two oxygens right so uh, it's not balanced clearly it says that it's not balanced okay carbon it is balanced one in number here also one in number so no need to touch a carbon and you have to go for the next element oxygen see here it's a very simple equation you don't have any polyatomic groups and all yes you have to follow the rule first you should check for polyatomic group balance it then go for metals then go for non metals then go for oxygen and hydrogen is it but you know metals non metals polyatomic group nothing is there so no need to worry directly first you go for balancing carbon because it's a non metal no and after non metal you are balancing oxygen right so in that order only i have written okay fine carbon no problem it is already balanced now come with the oxygen you see and uh, here it is three in number and here it is two in number so which side you should start putting a digit here because here the number is less wherever the number is less which other side the number of atom is less no from that side onwards you should start putting a digit okay see now how i'll balance here so here three oxygen atoms here two oxygen atoms less is this side product side so i'll start balancing a product okay so you should start putting a digit and don't change anything so if you are getting confused just put a box around the formula inside a box you are not supposed to put any number anything outside the box that is also you know the left side okay fine and if you put a digit one there is no use and if you put a digit two okay initially try with the digit two so how many oxygens you will get uh, two into two this two you should multiply here with this two okay if nothing is there if this is the case it is two only but here two is there no already two oxygen atoms you have put two the digit so you should multiply two into two now it became four oxygen atoms okay so this side four oxygen atoms and this side how many are there how many are there one plus two three okay now our digit is less this side left side okay reactant side so start putting a digit here so uh, three oxygen atoms where you will start putting a digit here okay don't try putting a digit here see so so oxygen you can ask me ma'am you can start here also no putting a digit and all no but uh, go, go for a molecule wherever molecule is there there you go for it okay so what i will try i will start putting a digit to okay and you can see here carbon number also change once you start putting a 2 here our carbon number also has become 2 no i told you this 2 can apply for uh, all the elements present in a molecule it can be applied for carbon it can be applied for oxygen also i told you so once you have put 2 here this 2 can be applied for carbon also so carbon also 2 in number but this side carbon is 1 in number and oxygens are four in number this side three in number so where 
you have to put a digit definitely here because you have to balance both carbon and oxygen, right? So we are putting a two. Now you check. Okay. Now it became two carbon and how many oxygens? Two. Now this two is applied for this oxygen also. Two plus two, four oxygen atoms. Balanced, you know, over. Okay. So after doing everything, once again you cross check it. Okay. Two carbons, two carbons over. Two plus two, four oxygens. Two into two, four oxygens. Okay. Clear? See, two plus two. But here, two multiply, multiply. Two into two, four. Okay. So this is how you have to balance. And going for the next example, okay. So, how do you balance the next example? Uh, do you have any polyatomic group? Yes. And quickly you get in your mind, definitely there is a polyatomic group. Carbonate, CO3 is a polyatomic group, right? But what I said in a trick, polyatomic group should be there in both reactant side and product side. CO3 you have in a reactant side, but where is CO3 in the product side? In the product side you don't have polyatomic group, no? So you cannot balance by considering CO3 as a group. Individually you have to balance. Carbon separately you should balance. Oxygen take separately and balance. Okay? As a group, together you cannot balance because that group is not there in product side. So, you cannot consider this as a polyatomic group. Consider them as separate elements. Carbon separately take in balance. Oxygen separately take in balance. Got to know when to consider polyatomic group for balancing and when not to consider polyatomic group for balancing. This is very important. Okay? Fine. And now uh, we are not considering CO3 as one group. We know it's a polyatomic group. But for balancing we are not considering as a whole group. Okay. Carbon separately, oxygen separately we are trying to balance. Why? Because the group is not there in the product side. Okay. It should be there in both the sides. Then only we should consider it as a group and group wisely we should balance. Okay. Fine. And okay. Polyatomic group is not there. Though it is there, it is waste. You cannot consider. Okay. Next, go for balancing metal. Which is a metal here? Yes. You have an element. See, these are reactants. Till you get practiced, you better to put this column. Okay. Better to put this table. Fine. And uh, you have an element which is a metal. According to a pattern only, you arrange it. Uh, the metal is zinc here. And the next element what you have? Non-metals. Which is a non-metal? Carbon. You remember right? Carbon belongs to 14th group. Right? So 13th group to 18th group elements are non-metals. Zinc belong to 12th group. 1 to 12th are metals. Okay? So metal I will write first. Next I will write carbon. Next uh, oxygen. These are the three elements present in the equation. Okay? How many zinc atoms are there? One. How many zinc is there? One. So zinc... Okay. And carbon how many here? 1. Carbon how many here? 1. And how many oxygens here? 3 in number. How many oxygens here? Uh, 1 plus 2. 3. Right? Okay. Zinc 1. Zinc 1. Carbon how many? 1 carbon. 1 carbon. And oxygen. 3 oxygen and here 2 plus 1, 3 oxygen. Equation is already balanced. Equation is already balanced. So you are not supposed to touch anything. Okay. Leave the equation like that. Okay. You are not supposed to put any number there. Okay. Don't try to put 2, 2, 2 and all. Just see. Have a sense. All atoms are equally balanced. Okay. So Keep the equation as it is. Clear? Okay. Now, the fourth example. Okay. So, here we go with the third example. Calcium plus HNO3. Okay. It's a nitric acid reacting. And you are getting calcium nitrate and hydrogen. Okay. And uh, you, you see here, you have to balance this. Fine. And uh, what is the rule that you will follow? 
what is the rule that you will follow first you have to balance the polyatomic group is it so do you have a polyatomic group definitely no3 is a polyatomic group and check whether it is also there in the products definitely it is there in a the product also so first you balance a polyatomic group which is nothing but no3 now here nitrogen separately oxygen separately don't balance if you balance that way no you will get confused you will end up in a wrong balancing okay so whenever a polyatomic group is present in both the cases consider as a group and balance it off work will be easy okay fine so next polyatomic group over then balancing metal calcium is a metal because it's coming in the left side of the periodic table and next you have to balance hydrogen okay fine so now how many no3 groups are there in the reactant side only one and how many no3 groups are there in the product side two are there okay first you list out list out everything calcium how many number one here one hydrogen how many are there you see one is there and here how many are there two are there okay fine so now you have to balance no3 only one in the reactant side two in the product so which side you should start putting the number wherever no3 is there in reactant side okay so here you should start putting the digit initially so put two here so now it becomes now cross check it now it becomes 2 no3 2 no3 okay uh, calcium 1 calcium 1 hydrogen how many after putting a digit this side you will get two hydrogen and this side also two hydrogen over balanced okay after putting every single digit you cross check all the elements once again okay you will get a balanced equation otherwise you will get to know at least again which element has changed and which element has not changed clear everybody okay so this is a balanced reaction fine and coming to the fourth example you see al in the sense aluminum h2so4 is a sulfuric acid both are reacting you are getting aluminum sulfate plus hydrogen gas okay and you have to balance this equation do you have a polyatomic group yes rule you should follow accordingly that's compulsory so4 here also so4 is there so so4 take it as one group and balance it off okay so you have a polyatomic group that is so4 then whatever you have what element you have al you have it's a metal then any non metal no s is there but it is there in the in the form of a group no so separately you no need to consider and now what you have hydrogen you have oxygen separately you no need to write because its work is over it's there as a part of a group and you have started balancing it right so again no need to write sulfur and oxygen separately it's there as a group okay fine and now how many so4 in this case one and how many so4 here three aluminum how many one aluminum here two you have okay hydrogen two you have this side and here hydrogen that two okay so so4 is not balanced al is not balanced first you will try to balance so4 because it's a polyatomic group okay so here one in number here three in number so here here you have to balance so what is the digit you will put here it is if you put two it becomes two no use so directly you start putting three okay so now again you list out again you list out so4 now it becomes three in number now uh, this side three in number aluminum one in number here two in number and now hydrogen hydrogen sir how many three into two three two sir six it becomes six and this side you have two so two more elements get to be balanced aluminum and hydrogen so among them first you will select aluminum okay so one aluminum here two aluminum here you have less in number so you are putting two you want to make it two so you have put two so aluminum is balanced but is over and now hydrogen see three two is six you have here okay and uh, two you have here so this side this side is less in number so you should start putting the digits here uh, which digits do you put if you put two 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 is four it becomes waste right and if you put a digit three three two is six it becomes now it is balanced fine let us go for one more example fifth example fifth example
example is very very important guys the same equation will be repeated many times in a textbook and uh, on a equation also on the reaction also uh, conceptual questions can be asked for the examinations uh, it is one of the very important type of a reaction uh, more details about this little later we will study now let us concentrate only about its balancing okay na so reactants reactants uh, and then products you know till you get practice with the balancing you have to put this information and then work it out otherwise you will get confused okay fine and uh, list out the elements do you have any polyatomic group here yes so4 is a polyatomic group but so4 is not there in the product side right it is so2 different one okay it is so3 different one okay as so4 nowhere it is there so you are not supposed to consider so4 as a group sulfur separately you balance oxygen separately you should balance okay so there is no polyatomic group uh go for checking metal yes which is a metal here iron is a metal okay next non metal you have to list out right so sulfur is a non metal next hydrogen is not there yes oxygen yes these are the three elements all together you have in a equation fine now try balancing with iron first okay uh, okay first list out how many iron atoms are there in the reactant side and how many are there in product side how many ions one and here two how many sulfur here one how many sulfur is here one plus one two okay come one plus one two sulfur are there fine how many oxygen is here four guys you have four this four belongs to only oxygen not for sulfur okay na so four oxygens and here how many oxygens 3 plus 2 5 okay 5 plus 3 eight oxygens is it right 3 plus 2 plus 3 okay eight oxygens are there you should add all oxygens you should consider all oxygens add and put it so this is how the number of atoms are there in our equation so first we should start balancing with metals onwards that is iron okay so one iron two iron so you should start putting a digit here you will put a two okay so after putting a digit once you cross check every element whether they remained same or changed okay so now our iron has become two guys and how many sulfurs this two now belongs to this sulfur also and this oxygen also okay is it so now how many sulfurs two sulfurs yes sulfur is here also too actually sulfur is balanced no need to touch sulfur now and coming to the oxygen 4 2 2 4 4 should not add here 2 4 8 2 4 sa 8 and here 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus you should do here okay 3 plus 2 plus 3 8 and here 2 4 okay so into into you have to do 2 4 sa 8 And three plus two plus three eight. It's already balanced. The moment you have put two here, every atom is getting balanced. You see. That's why I told you. Once you put a digit somewhere, check all the elements once again. Okay. And then go for the next element if not balanced. Right. So this is the most important example. You are everybody. Okay. So with this, I stop with the balancing. Uh, textbook many equations are there that too in the first chapter every equation you write it and balance yourself that will be a great practice okay so in my next video i'll go for the next concept types of chemical reaction thank you and subscribe our channel